morning there travel lovers so today is saturday it's almost the end of september but today is the day when we're exploring the old heritage of kuching so as you may have seen from our previous post we have posted this on facebook saying that we may be working with sarawak tourism board and today is actually the day so they kindly invited us to come to Kampung area of Kuching. And the main objective is basically to show the old heritage of Kuching, what it has to offer. Maybe to show the people that it's not just about a waterfront area that everyone should be focusing on. There's so much more to see and do. So today we're starting with Kampung and Kampung translates to villages. So even though Kuching is a city, it also has the old Kuching, which is some villages. And most of the villages are named from one to six. So let's go and check out one of the most traditional houses here in Kampung and see if we can get any more information. But we can see that you have this beautiful house here yes. and we've been told that it's one of the oldest here in Kampung. Indeed, right. Can you tell us a little bit more about this house? All right. Now, this house was built by my great-great-grandfather. Great-great-great-grandfather, yeah. Wow. In the 1800s. And it was entirely with wood. Just wood, wood only, yeah. yeah. This portion was, was a veranda. A veranda, yeah. And then the, when the, the Raja Brook used to come to this house. My grandfather walled it up. Oh, right, uh, okay, so he built like walls for, around for it. The, yeah. For the Raja's uh, family and friends to come. absolutely beautiful all of the features are original so the house was originally made from wood mm -hmm. and it's still here to this very day from the 1800s yes it was built in 1800s I think it's about mm. 130 years old right now that's really um, old yeah I think uh, Malaysian government wants to preserve the house mm. uh, but uh, we'll see what happens hopefully this uncle he can pass his house now on to his future generation but uh, right now I think we're gonna leave this place and we're probably gonna move on elsewhere um, but it's yeah really hot, it's really hot it's yeah, really I'm, hot yeah I'm like sweating say. guys hello Ooh. wow lovely very beautiful hello hello <laughs> hi hello <laughs> As you can see, I had an outfit change. I'm wearing carrying cam, as well as these ladies next to me. And these veils are usually worn for special occasions only, yes? Yeah. Yes. And it's usually handmade. How long does it take to make? Three months. Three months. Three months it takes to make one veil, yes? Wow. Uh, one wow. carrying cam. And how long have they been making? Yeah. How long you've been doing this business for? How many years? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Oh. Forty-two. Wow. So many wow. years. Yes. Look at this detail. And it's all handmade. It takes about three months. I think three months to make one. Just yeah. To make one piece. Yeah. Like There's they don't no even guide. have any like markings or anything. No, it's just done literally by by the eye. I can try, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on Justina. Make Lithuania proud. Oh, you have to help me, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So do you ladies know how to do it? No. <laughs> So you need to practice, yes, to pass on the tradition. So much pressure is on Justina right now. Uh -huh. 
Christina's creation. A little bit wonky, but uh, uh, next time it would be better. Christina's gonna dress me in my veil. There we go. Wow. Off to get married. Wow, look at this. Okay. There we are. Thank you. <laughs> this is what Justina made earlier. She was just messing around with the camera. Justina's got her veil on as well. Yeah. Film them. Yeah. We're all here. All here. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> Oh, yeah. one last fail to go on. Yeah, Ready? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> the reason why we came here and why it's so important to be shown this practice mm -hmm. is because this actually is dying out. So yeah. not many people know how to do this type of uh, weaving and yeah. making. So, Everything's um, being modernized, so not many people are aware of these important traditions to Malay culture. So what the government are trying to do here is introduce a minimum wage mm -hmm. so that people can start basically doing this every day, produce more and more. Kurinkam. Kurinkam. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's the name. It's taken of us the a veil. while to get used to the name, but yeah. it's Kurinkam. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you are in the area, of course, come and swing by and talk to these lovely sisters. Yeah. They're so so lovely. They're They've so been nice. taking selfies with us. Yeah. And got like the biggest warm smiles ever yeah. so it's yeah. really nice to and plus you're gonna get to practice doing it yourself so do you think you did a good job uh, I must say my flower was a little bit wonky but I think if I do it next time again it's gonna get better yeah yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. I um, I didn't even try it so you did way better than thank me. you <laughs> don't, don't be shy. shy what's your name Shakiman Cool name. So how's fishing? Are you catching anything? No. No? No. Do you normally catch something? Or is it a bad day today? Yes. Bad day. <laughs> bad day. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Come here. <laughs> Just learning about how people fish here. And yeah. Have for dinner sometimes, which yeah. is prawn from the river. Yeah. And crocodile. Yeah. And crocodile. <laughs> so we're still visiting Malay Kampong, and this area is actually really nice and it's going to draw more and more tourists in the future. Rather than people visiting the waterfront area and the town, they can come to the Kampong and We've been told that there's going to be a boat here taking people around. There's going to be LED lights along this riverside. So it's going to be really nice, a little bit like Malacca. Do you remember that, guys? Kampongs literally surround Kaching all along the side here and then all along the side here and over here government building also known as Dun the abbreviation and we have the new Chinatown over here which is where we're staying and of course you've got the waterfront here is a busk of James Brooke himself. James Brooke actually arrived here in 1841. Right, and so, so this was the, this, the piece of land. That was the only part of Sarawak. Yeah. Was it even called Sarawak at it the was time? Called Sarawak it was, time. okay. Then increase the land mass yes. of Sarawak the over time. So 1861, 1882, okay, 89, okay. Yeah, so it's massive now, isn't it? This is an old flag of Sarawak. It was introduced by one of the uh, Brooke family members in 1870. Now you'll see three distinct colors here and they all represent different um, 
ethnicities. ethnicities that's a good word Justina um, <laughs> yellow uh, represents the Malays the red is the Chinese and the blacks is Dayaks which is also representing indigenous people people really really respected the Brooke family for all that they did because they didn't want to come here to invade Sarawak they wanted to cultivate what was already here this museum that's housed right here by the waterfront you can just see how much they respect the Brooke family today and to have this guy behind me here very handsome devil very I would say handsome, yeah. this is Jason Brooke of the Brooke family we've just really randomly this met is like him. unbelievable experience yeah. <laughs> right now i just can't believe we were joking about it and you're like right there well, i'm hanging around all the time <laughs> really so do you actually live in the uk or here i live in the uk but you i'm live? here every six or eight weeks wow okay for so, quite a long time then yeah yes and this is a longer trip for uh, six weeks i'm yeah. setting up a new permanent exhibition on ronnie market oh okay I see. I see okay we brought over um, all of my green cam and some kit we we were a uk charity once yeah time, 10 years ago but right through reconnecting with sir the last 10 years right very much 99 mm percent -hmm. okay Hollywood film being made, so really uh, is it about the history here what happened it is. Oh, that's incredible. Do you know who's going to be the actor who's going to be playing James Brook? Yes. You do. Oh, okay, can I that's wait? That's amazing. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. Really like today we've been learning about this, and so now I know it's cry. really hard. And this is our last day in Sarawak, yeah. last day in Malaysia after yeah. seven months. So it's just like a beautiful little love Ending, story happy. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Sure. Thank, Thank you. you, and good luck with the opening. Yeah. Do you want water? Yes, please. We should be wearing this today in the oh, campong. Yes. Yeah. Ah, good day, mate. Yes. Yeah. So who left this for you? Did, so, did the tourists leave it for you? No, no, no. No, no. you bought it? Yes. Oh, lovely. Thank lovely. You. you should wear it. Yes. Wear it. Yeah. Wear it. Yeah. 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 There we Way go. <laughs> okay, he's holding I'm, the okay, I'm coming. I'm always behind trying to get the shots. Remember the name of this boat? Wait a second. I'm going to tell you. I'm really bad with names. Wait a second. The traditional name. Uh, Penambang. 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 Okay. Penambang. intriguing to taste. Yeah, and it's in the uh, Sarawak colours. Yeah. All right, give you some tasting fresh. So this was the first Miri Cake yeah, House here in Kuching, right? One, yeah. yeah. It's mu well, the other one was more like a storefront, wasn't yeah, it? This is like an actual. And this is like the indoor store. Yeah. Right? Bella Chan. Bella Chan. Which is like midden, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't taste like midden. No. Keep it going. Is that good, Justina? I had the best one of my life. I'll show you. Was it the colourful one? No, it's this one. This one, try this one. Let me try it. It's really creamy. Mm. Like a like a cottage cheese. It is. Isn't I it? I love some tea right now. Oh, don't. You can clap this and cup of tea. So no one's even buying anything because it's just like a buffet of cake lapis <laughs> and uh, Justine is joking saying that people just come here just to well, eat the samples. Of, yeah, some of our viewers said that people just come here to have some samples and then leave without <laughs> even buying any cake. Cake lapis basically means layered cake and it's probably the most traditional koi that you can get here in Sarawak. Mm -hmm. This We've is just a sample. So <laughs> It's so good. Like it's so good. I would have it like all to myself. I wouldn't yeah. share it with you actually. No, I wouldn't share mine with you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great because if you don't like one flavor, you can just switch to another one and yeah. you can find something that you like. Uh, wow. Processes, small processes. Yeah, I can see. Making, cutting, yeah. designing. Wow, it's beautiful. What 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 is that one called? Cake in cake, we call it. Oh, cake in cake. Also cake in cake, literally. Ah, oh, yeah. You can see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've got ice cream legends. So um, it's made from coconut milk. Yeah. And we've been told it's very popular here. Mmm. Yeah. Is it good? Tastes like coconut and vanilla, and popsicle. <laughs> you geek. <laughs> Hello, Misha. Mm -hmm. Hello, Misha.
Gorgeous. Yeah. And it takes so many months to make, two wow. to three months, yeah. Wow. Awesome. That's incredible. Yeah. Justina's getting her song cat on. <laughs> oh, wow, it's like a big skirt. <laughs> yeah. What do I do now? <laughs> she knows how to do it. Yeah. Ladies, who's Malaysian, me or you? <laughs> and how do you know when we it together? Oh, wow. Yeah? It suits me, Orange? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Malay kampong for a while. Yeah. Malay girl? <laughs> Malay girl forever. Yeah. Sorry? You're like a Malay girl now. Malay girl, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> wow, look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh wow, that's such a traditional. Oh. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> like this? Mm -hmm. Look at me. Oh, very beautiful. Cute. <laughs> Just going cute, cute, cute. <laughs> And then do a little turn. A turn? Yeah, yeah turn for everyone. See? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Just to clarify for everyone at home, you're wearing the song cat across, across, across the shoulder. shoulder. This is Baju Koron. Yeah. And this is also a song cat. Yes. Amazing. There we go. Now we know what song cat is. Yeah. 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 Why do you want to learn Karen Kel? Um, because I want to press Something new? Yeah. Yeah. You never tried it before. Right. And how long have you been doing this for now? Uh, quite, quite, quite a long time now. Yesterday? Yesterday? Oh, okay. Oh. So you've already done this? Yes. Wow. Well Justina, done. I mean. It's your first time, I see. And are you hoping to carry on this yeah. practice? Yes. yes. Okay. She taught you? No. No? no. Oh, this lady here. Okay. This lady. Haha. <laughs> 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 okay guys, see ya. See bye you. bye, bye. Bye girls. And we just said our very sad goodbyes to our lovely hosts. They have been so amazing showing us around Kaching and making us more aware of the history here. So very, very wonderful two days with them. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've just been spoiled to be yeah, honest. Yeah. yeah. I'm so just I'm just so grateful for everything that what we experienced here. On our last day, we actually ended it on a high because we met one of the descendants of the Brick family, Jason, Cr yeah, who crazy. happens, uh, you know, to to live in London, but he visits Borneo very, very frequently. And today, we both found ourselves in Commons Cafe, just like accidentally. It's and of common course, ground. Yeah. Cafe. This is our last video here in Malaysia for this season. I'm going to call it a season because we. Are are coming back next year we have had a roller coaster mm -hmm. ride in Malaysia mm -hmm. just it's been fantastic we were actually thinking of doing a video of our best experiences in Malaysia I think we should uh, we yeah. definitely will mm -hmm. do that uh, we may even do a live stream shortly I'm not sure of when we'll do it we need some time with our family and we need to kind of put that in our schedule oh I just just really want to come back already even though I haven't even left yet. Yeah, yeah. I haven't even left. Definitely subscribe because there's going to be loads more videos upcoming. Mm -hmm. um, leave us a comment, whatever's on your mind. Have you ever met Jason Brooke? <laughs> <laughs> so for now guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a like. Uh, leave us lots of comments down below. Share this video with your friends. And as always, cheers, cheers to freedom! freedom. Woo!